traditional and modern icons are sometimes called windows to heaven. Um, the purpose of the icon is to beckon the viewer to um, a closer relationship with God. So with iconography, the individual can share the Word of God through images. I think that all visual art is invitational in the sense that it invites us into something. Iconography has that specificity, so you're meant to interact with the specificity of the painting. So hopefully if you've done the work and the icon has done the work, an interchange has happened and it's touched you in a particular way and it evokes something in you, hopefully something that approximates prayer because most iconography is very specific in terms of Christian religious imagery. The problem is, is both. So we'll Ludmilla see is Russian born and she lives in Sweden with her husband and um, two daughters. She has a, a large studio at her home in Sweden. Can artists create believable images in which longing for divine is visible? And my exhibition, Icons and Transformation, is an attempt to answer this question. And for me, it feels like churches are holy spaces. In a way, it enables people to understand contemporary approach of spirituality. Eyes are very significant for me. Eyes are windows of your soul. And I think my artworks, they could be complete in your eyes. So please come and see and find your eyes. I think the artist has put so much time and effort into what she has done. She's very talented. I learned a lot. It is not easy to draw an icon. It was a wonderful experience. This um, exhibit has been on the road for many years, and but with each place that it visits, she, she makes something new. So for us, she has two pieces that are brand new that has not been shown anywhere else. One is a beautiful, um, colorful blue and gold and yellow cross, and the other is um, a lot of bright colors, yellow and orange, um, and their windows, so that's, that's pretty special. So the installation of all this artwork, 13,000 pounds of artwork, when the rig pulled up last week and we started pulling out forklifts and pallet jacks and, um, and all those kind of things, uh, the sound of cracking crates as, as forklifts moved them off of that, um, that rig was something that was exciting and it was also fun to watch our people come together. And over the last couple of days, the challenge has been trying to hang these large panels. Um, so if you come to St. James and you see these panels hanging up on the rafters, um, we have 12 of them hanging from the rafters in our church. Um, you'll know that there was probably a little bit of frustration and a little bit of, uh, of comedy that went along with watching how that was going to come to fruition. Overall, the greatest thing that's come out of this whole beginning process is that um, as a church community, we've actually learned how to come together and, and learn about each other and to learn how to work together. I hope it really does allow our community to see that, that the church is more than just a place for Sunday morning and that the church is a place where they can come throughout the week to, to offer up their cares and their concerns and their worries and also a place to come and lift up their thanksgivings and joyful moments and, and to share that with other people who have a common malady, which is a belief in God and, and His love for His children. So good evening. Uh, I welcome you to St. James Episcopal Church. Since 10 years ago when I started writing icons, um, I never would have known then um, that this would have brought me here to this amazing journey of combining the orthodox iconography with the modern um, iconography and, and the way that it really intertwines in your heart and in your spirit. The Episcopal Church, out of all of the Protestant churches, has created space for the visual arts in a way that in some ways is unique. And that really goes back to our history in terms of the Church of England. I'm just so excited for this opportunity for Icons and Transformation to be here with us.